But like, again, as a guy to get women is different than for women to get guys. There's social proof as a man to get women that's not the same. Because like any random bimbo out here can get dudes. Only certain dudes can get a lot of chicks. And I'm not saying that you should. Like, I agree. Like, I... Mm. It's like a balance with that kind of thing. But because because something you said kind of triggered me, too, is like, oh, well, does he have all these hoes? But any good guy who's like proven himself in the world and, and like is capable and is like attractive or whatever is attractive to many women. Yeah. So As a woman would be. So they're going to have hoes. But but a guy would never be like, oh, I want a chick that no one likes. You know what that's I mean? what I'm saying. Like, no, no woman would be like that. I want everyone. Not too many to want women would be like that because shit. you want a guy that seems, you know, like he's, <laughs> you know, other people want him. Like you want a guy yeah. that seems wantable. Oh, okay. So like I mean, agree. some oh, women okay. go for the, you know, the, the, the they hop on that ugly train. Because you could go find some dusty dude in you the could basement. Find a dusty dude in yeah. the basement, but how happy are you going to be with the dusty dude in the basement? I mean, some women well, are, maybe. depending on what you're looking for, some women might, that might be cool. Well, that's part of my argument, though. Like, the regular guy has kind of been, this is this is my men's right activist hat. <laughs> is that the regular, the regular man is losing really bad. Like, no one's checking for the regular guy. The, it's the top 10, top 20%. Nobody's checking for the regular guy if we're talking about... Women, or are we talking for about women? Hoes? Yeah, like for for like just common <laughs> like your status in the world, your uh, women's attractive, like everything as far as I your mean, quality I, as a guy. If you're just a regular, if he's a plumber and he makes fifty k a year, that's not a problem. Are you striving to? Are you striving to do more, or is your only dream just being a plumber? Yeah, but that's the average. Is the fifty? Nah, I'm talking about, but where your dreams. Everyone stri- maybe everyone's striving, but like that's what he can nah, do. Nah, is know? everybody's dream? Nah, everybody's that's dream. So, so that regular thirty year old plumber who's making the the national average, he gets a nah from most people. But that's the thing, though. It's like you. W- I'm the type of person like, okay, say if I meet a guy, he says, "Listen, I do X, Y, Z. This is what I do now. This is how much I make." You know, that's that. Um, That's one thing. Mm -hmm. If he says, listen, this is how much I make. This is what I do. This is what I want to do in the future. Like I want I want my own. I want my own plumbing company. I want my own. Huh? This is how y'all get tricked. No, no, no. no. But that's the thing. That shit ain't going to work. No, no, no. (laughs) If you if you're real and you know what it looks like to put in that work and to do that, you're going to see in the in the stages where you're talking to him, you're going to see if he's actually taking steps to get there. I want some real yeah, shit. But do you That's know the, the type steps of steps that he needs to take to become to, a master actually, plumber. Yeah, actually, yes. I don't, but I don't know that. How, it's, it's, like, yes, how you, you should. You, know you went to business school, LLC. What <laughs> starts off with it? No, be honest. Be let's be real. To get your own plumbing company, it's LLC. You have to know the job, which he already does because he's been a plumber. That's There's, literally all, the, and you need clientele. No, 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 no. These things are not that simple. I did that shit myself, and I have. You can make their ADD and all of that uh, attention deficit, whatever you name it. <laughs> I got yeah, the attention span see, of a squirrel. This is the if problem. I can do it, anybody can this do it. This is the problem with the internet. <laughs> this is the problem with the internet and these choices. Is everybody, all the media is like, boss this, own this. There's so much more to running a business and being successful at like being an entrepreneur and doing all this and being like to get to the top 20% that that is not it's not that easy like it's it, really not listen life ain't easy but you still got to try but no but how but, many people have made it successful from not thinking like what you but, just said but, they just was like nah i'm going to give it my all and try it and make this shit work ain't no plan b and they went out there and they did that but they my, didn't have that mindset my point is again i couldn't if if I could just quarterback you to be a master plumber and run your own business, then I should do that. Like, right. so so what I'm saying is like, you think you can know the steps, but I don't really think that. Well, listen, I'm the type well, of person. I'm gonna figure it out with you, and we gonna work on it together. I'm gonna help you. But the thing, I mean, the thing is, is that you can't make this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> My brother hates what you're saying right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I'm gonna say every, every. I mean, the definition of you know what six. What success is is going to be subjective. It depends right. on who you're talking to. 
and what that individual wants, you mm-hmm. know, out of life. Everybody isn't, you know, built to be a CEO of a company. Like everybody doesn't, you know, aspire to be that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, us being, I'm talking about me and you specifically now, are creatives. You know what I'm saying? So the path that, you know, we were walking or might still be walking, I'm I'm not, I'm not you know, you know, sure sure where you're at with things right now, but you know, everything in this industry or in that industry anyway, is geared around ownership. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And is and is and is, you know, pretty much like our standard of success, you feel me, isn't average. Okay. So, you know, like someone who might be making, you know, six figures a year or whatever, whether it's in the lower hundred thousand or whatever, or the upper upwards of two to three, maybe four and six, seven hundred thousand, you know what I'm saying, might be sufficient, you know what I'm saying, for for certain people. But other people are like, nah, I want millions or whatever. This is so everybody's level of success is gonna is I mean, it's gonna be different depends on who you're talking to. So when it, so when it comes down to it, if somebody's cool with making fifty thousand dollars a year or sixty thousand dollars a year, he or she is responsible for you know, is very responsible with their finances, credit and everything is good. Yeah, what's I don't, I don't understand. Well, 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 I'm saying, but it depends. But like I said, it all depends on who you, you on want. who you're talking to. Right. Like you know, what I'm saying, you also, got, I mean, like I said again, us being, you know, saying who we are and what it is that we can provide. You know, what I mean, for you know, the rest of the people to enjoy, as far as like our music is concerned, maybe even like our opinions and different things like that. You know, what I mean, like you know, dealing with topics like this, it's gonna be dip, like, and she, and she's a. And she's a woman, and certain things that women women want right. out of relationships are not the same thing as what men want out of relationships. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to alter, like, the perspective. Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, you know, she might want that. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, her perspective and what she's saying isn't, like, a reflective of, like, the general masses. You feel me? And my perspective right. isn't a reflection of the general masses of people who might fall in my, ca- like, in but my demographic th- either. I, th- this kind of goes to the topic is, like, but the things that we are wanting are super rare like to have this boss person it's kind of hard to get no but you got to understand but look at who you're talking to that that's what i'm saying like look but, at but where it, you it are it seems accessible because of all the things we see on the internet a success but that shit is rare success is romanticized bro like but you know what, what I'm saying? Okay, you, so you, when you I know, say you know success, when I say success, what I'm saying is like the generic. Basically, I'm talking about like money and all that. Oh, stuff. of course, of course. It, it, which isn't actually success or whatever. I'm just using that as a euphemism for that. I'm in, agreeing in this with conversation, you. That's right? what I'm saying. But I'm and I'm agreeing with you. It's not to cut you off, but you got to understand, mm-hmm. like, you know, there's 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 a certain narrative that's being pitched and you know pushed on a certain demographic of people. You know what I'm saying? Un- unfortunately, you know, everybody in this. Excuse me. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody in this, in this, uh, in this room, you know, is in one way or another, you feel me, you know, subject, not really subject, but are exposed to that narrative at the end of the day. And a lot of times it's coming from, you know, um, the music industry and the, or anything in the entertainment business and like reality shows and different things like that. Certain people that we follow, you know, sitting on Instagram or people that we might watch on TV or whatever is promoting like a certain narrative or whatever, like it's like a certain like that's like that their standard of relationship. We gotta understand, like it's entertainment. It's not it's not real. Like you know what I mean. Right. So so w- when we're looking at reality shows, we're thinking that this shit is real. You know what I mean? When right. we, when we're listening to people say, "I'm not fucking with a nigga unless he makes X Y Z, this that and the third or whatever," people are accepting that as a standard, and people right. think that that shit is cool. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? And then like niggas is just coming down like, oh like. This, the ones who got it, you feel me, is coming through like, yo, how much is it going to cost? Like, they ain't even talking, like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes that should be working, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it but, works. Yeah, nah, I know that should be working. Joe Budden says but it lets you skip steps. It does let you skip it does steps for, let certain, you skip for steps. certain people. <laughs> but but now, but that's what I'm saying, but now, but you got like these, but you have new people who are coming up, like, you know what I mean? Like the, the younger generation, you know what I mean? 18, 19, 20, 21. The ideals are warped, is, is it's what warped. I'm saying. Yeah, it's warped because they bought into that pretty much. Like the median mm-hmm. is not. That that's the thing is like most people are gonna get the average. Most people are gonna but get they the don't, average. No one will accept the average, and it's like no, because well, they're brainwashed by like right. most social people don't. Media. Ex- hell yeah! And at the end of the day, and this is on both sides though. Let me let me it say this. It is on both sides. Me, I let, agree let, with that. No, it is definitely on both yeah. sides. You see all these IG models and all this stuff. Yeah, and it's like mm-hmm. pulling up. You know what I'm saying? And, the old and do you really one. want that? That's the other thing. Is like well, it depends. Man. Once you once you like deal with that you're like that's a fantasy bro it that's is a fantasy right. like mm-hmm. i see i literally like i know 
you know what I mean? And like I said, I'm, I'm going to go in on both sides because I'm not like riding on like, you know, females. And like, right, I don't right. think that, that that and that's what it is. But like I said, I literally know females, you know what I'm saying, who's pretty as hell, you know what I'm saying, get a bunch of traffic, you know, on mm-hmm. social media and different things like that. And then you see them with, you know, the designer, European or whatever right. the case may be. And they look crazy. Like they look, they look, they look beautiful women, right? But then, you know what I'm saying, when you see them, it's like, damn, all right, yeah, you got this European shit on that somebody else might have bought for you or whatever, but you pulling up, like, and, and some dusty shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your car and, and your lifestyle doesn't necessarily match what you put in. The house. Right. Nah, but they seriously, like, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, nah, because people only post, like, the good things happen yeah. in their life. Absolutely. Like, somebody vacation. who's wearing all designer from head to toe, they might look rich, but... They don't got no money at the end of the day. Nah, they got no savings. That's what it's I'm just saying. for the look, you know. I guess so. I mean, dudes be the same way. Yeah, they want to go too. online and shit. You know, post up. You know what I mean? Like I got this chain on and shit. My fuckers posting up pictures of henny bottles. Like niggas ain't never money, seen that before. Like, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Friday. Smoking weed and shit like that. Getting high, the motherfucker. And then he's asking you for a ride. You feel me down the street yeah. to catch the train to go right. somewhere? Yeah, like nah, you know what I mean? You need to have a car. You need to have a car. People I know with no cars, they be at every event. Yes, like, how did you get, get here? there? <laughs> how did you get here? Uh, that's real thing. You ain't got no job, and you ain't got no <laughs> <laughs> at all. Yeah, 